Welcome. This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you another installment of the Giga Semi Factory Construction Progress. Today's video is entitled Big Steel. As you can see in the background, the major progress that you're going to notice in today's video is on the uh, stamping section. This is a new this is coming in from the uh, far southeast corner where the guard shack is, and it's a, a different approach. You can see a lot of trenching going on that we don't normally pay too much attention to. And on the left, just exiting our view is where I think mega chargers will be installed, and we'll, we'll get another look at that later. Anyway, I just thought this was a different and interesting perspective to sort of sneak, it, sneak up on the site coming from the um, northwest, northeast, to the northwest. So this is the northern uh, section of the building, meaning north is behind the drone, south is in the background, where you can see the higher level stamping building, section G, rising. much of this uh, fill has there, there's a lot of uh, dirt and compaction that has been done kind of subtly because they only brought up the level a couple of feet but there's a lot of work has been done to the perimeter here is that pad that has what uh, many viewers think are hvac cooling um, equipment those two rows and then there's a new tank right there a new high pressure tank and there's also new pads there that look like they could be for more of those chillers. And a large pad to the left and a smaller pad that the rendering shows um, tanks, large industrial storage, liquid storage tanks in those locations. And you can see there's a little uh, berm around much of that, maybe to contain any uh, leaks. All the doors are completed, all the windows are completed. This is what we like to call the BF, one of the three BFDs for big freaking doors, and they are huge. The door next to it that's closed is a very large door. And you can see as compared to your standard um, loading, shipping and receiving door, loading bay, this thing is huge. I may put it at the very end, I came back after later in the day and um, went to the uh, drone takeoff location at night and uh, got some video from the ground of the um, another one of the BFDs, the, one of those north BFDs. I'll probably put it at the end of this video. You can't make out much, but it's one of the few times you've been able to see inside those BFDs. It's lit up, but there wasn't enough zoom to uh, really make out what was going on. All the finishing touches have been put on the loading doors and much of the uh, con concrete pouring for those is complete. And this is section G, the stamping section. This is where all the action is. And this is um, where they're using a big tracked crane for one of the first times instead of just the smaller telehandlers and mesmaster. But this is clearly the most complicated and technical section of the building. You can see those little people. They're actually, as, uh, as some one of our favorite viewers would point out, they're not little people. They're normal sized people, but they look little. Here's that big crane, and I, um, I believe it is putting up another beam, cross beam. You can see that this section, that uh, this um, steel that, that surrounds the stamping pits is extremely beefy with side reinforcements and larger columns and beams than um, was present on the in the rest of the building 
Looking forward to seeing bridge cranes and other, uh, and the stamping uh, machines themselves being brought in. And that's kind of why I'm flying a little more frequently. I'm hoping to catch um, some actual production equipment being delivered and brought inside. I continue to um, try to manifest a uh, tour um, uh, from at the inside of the factory so that all of the interested viewers, shareholders, and, and investors can see what's going on in there. I like to think that um, this coverage is helpful in, in uh, maintaining conviction. This, I think, is an amazing, um, solid program at Tesla with a clear, finite uh, date and without any uh, question marks or regulatory hurdles uh, or social... Um, how am I trying to say it? It doesn't require people to get used to robo-taxi or get used to robots. This is solid and will immediately start... Um, increasing Tesla's bottom line and really increasing uh, the mission of, uh, of uh, accelerating sustainable transportation as um, freight transportation is a small part of the actual miles, as Elon and Dan Priestley have pointed out, but a large part of particulate matter, especially pollution and particulate matter in the cities next to freeways where people live and where their quality of life is affected are what I believe are going to be mega chargers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then to the right, 11 and 12. They don't have to be super long because these will be bobtail semis that come out of the factory that can be that will be charged and not meaning not hooked up to a trailer and um, my confidence level is pretty high that these are mega chargers but time will tell and that's the fun I would say a good deal of my speculation has been um, completely off and some of it spot on and some of it just evolves as we see as we see changes but there's a large force of uh, construction workers on this project and I would like to point out remind people who if you haven't listened that Tesla is the um, general contractor they manage their own construction projects they manage building the machine that builds the machine that builds the machine the first machine is the factory building the second machine is the uh, production line and the third machine is the product which is the tesla semi at fifty thousand a year which so this will be like a uh, like a model three or a model y assembly line except for much bigger vehicles you can see gigafactory one in the background um, one of my viewers has mentioned that when he worked at Gig, uh, in Giga Nevada, they referred to it as, as Gigafactory 1 or GF1 and was questioning why I call it Giga Semi, and I do so to distinguish it and why I call the old GF1 Lega, Legacy, Sem, uh, Giga, Legacy Giga Nevada. And I think those are appropriate terms. I made them up. He was asking where to get that from. I pulled that out of my own ear let's just say ear just going through some still shots and not sure that there's a whole lot uh, again not a lot of um, breaking news just steady progress on this building and I'm looking forward to seeing how they 
uh, put the uh, corrugated steel roof panels, how, if they build them on the, on the uh, table, on the um, table that they use to build them, the panel table, and if they lift them up with uh, that crane. A lot of nice little detail of the um, stamping uh, foundations. And one of the games we can play is just exactly how many stamping machines are going to be here. I maintain, and I have felt, let's go back to my previous point, I believe they're going to stamp frames here. However, there's an excellent video that shows a uh, Mercedes truck factory in Germany, and it's a giant factory, and, and they actually do um, import the... Uh, frame rails from a supplier. So we'll be interesting to see if uh, Tesla continues to import or purchase the frame rails from a um, supplier, tier one supplier, or if they elect to uh, drill down vertically and build them themselves. Um, I could make an argument either way, but I've always felt that they would build them here, especially since I'm fairly confident that their supplier is in Mexico, their current supplier. And that's a lot of uh, frame rails to purchase and bring in every day, enough for 100, you know, 100 to 125 per day. Seems like uh, it would be more efficient to bring in the raw materials and stamp them. Anyway, thank you for joining. I'll leave you with the uh, big dog Tesla Semi and uh, Stay tuned for more uh, videos of Giga Semi.